What is going on to you, Cancer Crabs? You have the uh, Two of Pentacles, the uh, Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands, the Justice, Ten of, of uh, Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Temperance, Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So what I'm seeing here for you, uh, Cancer Crabs, is the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the uh, Seven of Wands, a lot of you cancer crabs happen to be in a position right now where a lot of you, you really want to uh, enjoy your life with someone else. But obviously, like, I, like I've like i been saying, they have to really be able to put in the work. And you're starting to see that, you know, they have to, they have to be able to put in the work. And a lot of you cancer crabs are really learning about yourselves right now. The Knight of Cups, about particularly what it is it what is it that you need in order for you to be in a relationship right what are the particulars you uniquely right um because people everyone needs certain tweaks and certain differences you know what i mean slightly and you know everyone has their own nuances and who they are so the the seven of wands now represents so as a result of this the seven of wands really represents you uh cancer crabs just kind of going through the difficulties of what it is to date what it is to get to know other people but a lot of you cancer crabs are really not giving up a lot of you understand that you know this very much so that's my dog did you this very much so comes with the territory of getting to know other people that you're not necessarily always going to be a perfect fit with the people with every single person that you meet and the thing about it is that the justice now represents how so you don't necessarily have to you won't like ruin their life and i'm not saying that you would do that i'm saying that you know so many other people would ruin their their uh, ex-partner's life but a lot of you cancer crabs are like you know you you don't see the value in it so a lot of you cancers are like you don't have to be disrespectful as you leave you'll just leave and a Ten of Cups represents it was fun while it, it lasted getting to know this person or more so getting to know the people that you used to know. But it's not, it's not, I don't know, like it's not really something uh, that's a top priority to you because you're in a position now, uh, Cancer Crabs, where you can really exist. You can really be in a relationship with people where you're not taking it personal that you and the other person has to essentially um, get to know each other real fast and then not leave. You know what I mean? Or, or, or excuse me, get to know each other real fast and then leave. Find out very quickly that the two, find out very quickly that the two of you are not necessarily compatible. So you leave. So you leave. So you bounce. And the thing about it is that the Five of Pentacles now represents so as a result of this, right, this is more so about how you're in a you're in a situation where, you know, um, you're in a situation where, you know, uh, you really start to see a lot of people's, um, I don't want to say their true, color, whatever, their true colors, because um, you, you see that a lot of people don't really want to put in work, not because they're this boss or whatever, but because a lot of the times they're socially awkward. They, they, the, the reality of the situation is, is that a lot of times people have not learned to work on their personal skills, getting by able to being able to be social by getting to know people because they spent so much time trying to, you know, stunt for the gram, right? Stunt for Instagram to the point now where people are a bunch of wallflowers and what i mean by that is people are too scared to people are too scared to approach and they don't know then and they don't even know how to approach they don't even know how and they're not even willing to try so now it's like so now it's like the temperance the, this is something that people have to learn as i said before everybody needs to learn how to approach everybody needs to learn how to how to, if you don't like a person, turn the person down gracefully, respectfully. If you do like the person and they're approaching you, how to 
get approached. Everybody needs to learn how to do those three things. If you don't, you're incomplete. Not because I'm saying that, not because I'm saying that, but because what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you want to speak to somebody else, but you don't even know how to approach the person? See, all, see, this is what I'm trying to say. Like all of this stunting for the gram, you know, not a hundred, not all the time, but I'm, but a lot of that, a lot of that stunting for the gram and all that other type of stuff is really because people are really socially awkward and they don't know how to have a full on conversation where the person can introduce themselves. That's really what it is. People don't really, people really don't know how to go into somebody's DMs or approach somebody and say, hey, listen, you know, I like the way that you look. I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. You want to go to the movies? They don't really know how to do that. They don't really know how to drop their name. Hey, you know, my name is Kareem. Says, 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 I'm going to give you my number. You know, give me a call. You know, you know, use that number. You know, the people don't really know how to do that, but then they want to sit around and talk about confidence. And it's like, and it's like, the the that's the that's the the hypocrisy in it the idea cancer that a lot of people want to talk about you know confidence but then most people are stunting for the gram because they don't have enough confidence to talk to somebody so then you have the two of wands right and then the two of wands is about how since this is the case a lot of you cancer crabs also understand that this is pretty much something that you know you really that's that's another situation with it. And that's why a lot of you cancer crabs are not really sweating yourselves up about because you understand that getting into conversations with people is like pulling teeth, right? The Eight of Wands, it's like pulling teeth, getting to know people a little bit because the whole premise of this reading is a lot of you cancer crabs are starting to realize that getting to know other people is not gonna be as easy it's simple in the sense that it makes sense to you it's straightforward you 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 know this is what it is that you got to do but it's not it's not um it's not easy it's simple but it's not easy in the sense that people are socially awkward like i've been saying so because of the fact that <clears throat> they're socially awkward you have a lot of individuals you have a lot of individuals who really you have a lot of individuals who are really in a position where, come here, come here. You have a lot of individuals who are really in a position where they, they don't want to go up. They don't want to, they don't have versatility. They don't want to go up to a person and they don't even want to try, but then they just expect like, hard work from somebody else and that's not how things really work in reality so you're really starting to see the delusion a lot of people are really under like people have gotten away with not having to do anything for so long they don't know what to do now that they have to approach people otherwise they buy themselves and they will really have to stay by themselves but then you but then a lot of you cancer crabs need to know that but at the same time it's delusional because they're uncomfortable being by themselves. They'll say they're, that they're comfortable with it, but in actuality, it's really a lie. And then you have the Five of Swords. Come here. And then you have the Five of Swords, right? And then the thing is that the Five of Swords now is about... Um, uh, the Pretty much the Five of Swords is really about the difficulties of overall dating. So a lot of you cancer crabs are learning things about yourselves and about other people. And this is what it is that I was trying to tell you the whole time that when you really understand that, that a lot of people are socially awkward, a lot of people run game. This is part of where the games come from is because of the fact that they're socially awkward and they don't know what to do. So they, so they have to, they have to throw bait. Like they have to act like they're going fishing and throw bait out because it's all a part of the game and the game is you got a bunch of delusional people who are trying to act like you know what i mean they're they're on top when in actuality when you really see it for what it is you see like oh these are people who are not really special like that they're really playing on the egos and the expectations of other people you know 
So let's clarify the Five of Swords. So what does this mean for you? So this means Eight of uh, Swords, Six of Pentacles, the Devil, which is Capricorn, and then you have the Five of Swords, right? So what this means for you, Cancers, is, is that you've completely changed. You've become someone new. And a lot of you, uh, a lot of you Cancers understand that this is pretty much a, a, a situation for a lot of you where you have a new, a fresh new pair of eyes about how you perceive getting to know other people and that they're not as, a lot of people, when they put their best foot forward, for the most part, they're not really putting who they really are up front. They're really trying to create an amazing, it's almost like, again, like Instagram, they're really trying to create an amazing Instagram account so that a person can perceive them as being great when in actuality, that's not really the case behind that screen. And then you have the devil and the five of swords. Some people are going to get caught up with it, trapped by it, right? People who are, who don't, who, who can't see through it, but you cancer crabs can't see through it. And this is very good for you cancer crabs, because this means that you're learning and you're growing and you're learning how to spot the fake.